Okay. Yeah, I just cut out that loading screen again. I'm kind of trying to cut them out when I think News I can. of the hour. Lord Paramount uh, endorsed by the Honorable Shut Grey up. Wardens. Lord but Balin this is probably going to be a loading screen. Fucking go in, asshole. Oh yeah, I forgot this is one of those quick ones. Good. I heard the news. Jarvia and her Carter are dead. I suppose it was unrealistic to expect them to surrender. Would that some of the noble cast had such loyalty. I have no desire to go back on my word. But when Balin heard the news about Jarvia, he raised the stakes. He is forcing a vote in the next two days. By law, that prevents the assembly from hearing any other pleas. To help with your troops, I will require your assistance one last time. Do you know anything of the Paragon Bronca? <laughs> Always another step. Yep. Bronca is a Paragon. The only one we have been blessed with in four generations. Two years ago, she took her entire house into the deep roads on a mad quest to uncover ancient secrets. No one's heard from her since. Were she to return and endorse someone for the throne, the assembly would be honor bound to accept her wishes. Her entire house went with her. It would take a lot to kill so many. If not, bringing proof of her death or a body to return to the stone would still show that as an ancestor, it was my hand she guided to her remains. It's hard to say what she would do. She wasn't exactly known for her predictability. She never seemed to like being a paragon. She was devoted to her craft, never cared for politics. But one of the most brilliant minds Orzama has seen. Bronca hated Darkspawn with a passion. She would certainly be a valuable voice to support your treaty. My men traced Bronca's disappearance to an ancient crossroads known as Caradin's Cross. It is many miles below where we normally venture, but I can provide a map to lead you there. Just enter the deep roads through the mines. Thank you again, and may the ancestors guide your steps. <laughs> 